Salutations to you viewers, welcome to this uh, production brought to you courtesy of Faume Media Educational TV. Before viewing this video, ladies and gentlemen, I kindly ask you to like and subscribe uh, and share to as many people as possible. Right. In today's lesson, we are going to be discussing a concept in ordinary level chemistry known as the nuclide notation. Right. Uh, I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with the periodic table of elements and every element has got subatomic particles etc etc so in this video I'm going to emphasize more on this nuclide notation which is represented as X a B so first and foremost ladies and gentlemen what does X represent X represents the element symbol A represents the mass number of an element and the mass number is defined as the mass of an element as compared to 1 12th the mass of carbon 12 and then B represents what is known as the proton number and the proton number is sort of the fingerprint for each and particular uh, element because no two elements have got the same proton number right so let me give you examples of uh, the nuclear notation right carbon 12 6 right C is the element for carbon and carbon is got a mass number of 12 and then a proton number of 6 so the mass number of an element is actually The number of the protons plus the number of the neutrons. Remember, an atom has got three subatomic particles, which are protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons and neutrons reside in the nucleus of an element, sorry, of an atom, and electrons reside in the orbits or the shells. Okay? So, what it means here is that carbon has got a mass number of 12 and a proton number of 6. So if we are to find the number of neutrons of carbon, we subtract 12 minus 6 and we get 6. Another example, we have sodium. Sodium is represented as Na because in Greek sodium uh, is known as natrium. So sodium is Na. Sodium contains 23 on the mass number and 11 on the proton number. Meaning to say, sodium has got a proton number of 11 and a mass number of 23. So let's take for instance, the question says, can you calculate the number of neutrons for sodium? The number of neutrons for sodium, you subtract the mass number, you subtract the proton number from the mass number, which is 23 minus 11, that's the mass number for sodium, all right? Other examples with chlorine, Chlorine is written as 35,5. I'm going to explain another video why chlorine is written as 35,5 uh, because of the relative abundances of the isotopes. And we have a proton number of 17. So I urge you, ladies and gentlemen, to have your own copy of the periodic table of elements so that you familiarize yourself with those elements and the nuclide notation. Ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, this is your host, Chico Squared. And the crew behind the scenes at Farmer Media Productions, be blessed and stay blessed. I salute you.